Things let me sleep in this morning. How you doing, girlfriend? You can't come in the tent. Not now. No, go on. You're wet. When you go play, you lose the right to uh, stay in the house. What you doing, Franklin? Tell him to stop peeing on our chairs. That'd be nice. Thanks. Well, good morning, world. We got to figure out what we're gonna do. We're in a uh, non-motorized area of the motorized vehicle. Shh. I assure you, it was quite by accident. You be careful, Penny. That's a long drop-off, girl. Where's your brother at? Saving the world from chipmunks, I imagine. He was over there in the shrubbery. He just kind of does his own thing for the first couple hours till he gets tired. And after he's too tired, then he comes and hangs out with us losers. Isn't that right, Penny Lou? <laughs> Anything interesting in there? Nah, don't be licking that. Ah, uh -uh. Thank you for finding it, but don't lick it. Whatever the hell it is. He's looking for you, buddy. You getting tired yet? You sure leave Penny behind when you go. It's a nice place. I'm gonna walk down creek. See what's up. I'm gonna have to get this uh, Jeep out of here before I get busted. Benny, you're supposed to tell me this is a no motorized area, girl. You're the smart one. Well, we're trying to make our way back up the forest road. And I was going to go ahead and kind of show one of the dips, it should be a piece of cake. The other one's a. Uh, I'll try and show you what's up up here. Top graphicals that I had were a little bit dated, obviously, because this road is closed. It looks like it's been closed since 1986. I will explain why there's trees growing in the middle of it. I thought they were just being cute by calling it a forestry road because it's a road with a forest in the middle of it, but no. Somewhere up there is our destiny, though. We got about a, I don't know, 12 to 15 foot boulder we have to climb over in a little, a little street jeep. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I had to pull off for a second and clean out the vehicle. Penny's already gotten sick twice in the last mile. Bless her heart. Anyway, there we go. Wish us luck. Oh, well, there's where we need to be. And yeah, this is where we have to go to get there. Bummer. I was sure when I was here last time that going down this thing would be difficult enough that I would hit one of the four-wheel drive roads that are down there. But the four-wheel drive roads have grown over. I would think, uh, what is it? How long ago was 1986? I can't do the math right now. But yeah, it's been a while. So we have to come back the way we uh, came in. Yeah. I was a little bit concerned at first about flipping, but if we flip anyway, we won't roll far. It's always good. All right, well. Let's see if this Jeep can uh, get our dumbasses back, back out of the area. It would have been nice if they told us the road was closed. So 
I'm not so damn foolish that I'm gonna try my luck on a closed road just to go camping. How y'all doing back there? All right, brother, we got about another three miles. If we can get past this next tenth of a mile, we'll be in good shape, though. Well, brothers and sisters, I'd like to tell you that we got over the boulder, uh, but the two different ways we tried, we couldn't. So, plan B. Plan B is currently being formulated. We've got Penny working on it. Basically, we're down a uh, closed forest road that we can't get back out with this vehicle. Now, if we can, we can leave the vehicle behind and we can pack the essentials and we can hike our way out so our life is not in jeopardy. I'm sure a forest ranger will probably come by eventually and after they give us a ticket for being out here illegally on a closed road, then they'll, we'll have a better idea how we're gonna get our Jeep out of here. Like I said, we could walk out of it. May not be a fun walk. It's uh, certainly not a fun drive. I prefer my mud to be on more flattened earth. But, you know, I'm from Texas. What do I really know about off-road? Obviously, I don't know a lot of shit. Not as much as the locals do, anyway. This is a fun little road here. We're past pretty much the hairy part. So we're just going to go back down and set up tent again. Set up the camp. We're going to walk up, uh, walk up and down the river. There's some, uh... 20 plus year old forest roads up and down through here. And if I can make it up the path to a different closed forest road, maybe we can head up that one because this one is impassable. But the consideration I have, hold on a second. Hold on, pups. The consideration that I have to be concerned about is our gas situation is getting low. I was going to fill up before we came out here, but I didn't. Whoop. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to turn this camera off. We'll drive the rest of the way down. Talk to you all later. What's up, baby doll? Well, after five hours of his own little walkabout, Mr. Franklin decided to grace us with his presence. He came home to take a nap, so... He has been uh, bungeed to a tree. Uh, talked to a couple of fishermen that were just down here on their little four-wheeler Polaris. I need to get some of those, or one of those. But uh, they're telling me that they were surprised that I was able to make it down here in the Jeep that I have, which I thought was a compliment and a warning all at the same time. So, hey, no going to sleep over there. You gotta pull second shift, Mr. Runaway. So they told me there's a bypass. They told me where to look for it, and uh, it should get me around the part that I'm that I'm stuck at. So, so we're gonna stay down here another day. I brought all this damn prospecting equipment. The least I could do is jump in the creek. These two are in the shade. They're nice and safe here, so I think I'm gonna abandon those. These two. I'm going to get the tent and everything. I'm gonna set it up again. So we'll stay another night down here. So if you've been uh, following me and waiting for me to, to answer back, I'm sorry I missed you a day. Cacapasa, right, girl? <laughs> you look tore up. I gotta shave you, girl. You've been losing weight, though. I like that. You're running now, getting around. Thanks for watching, y'all. Miss Penny Lou, and she's getting her grub on while in time out. She's soaked to the bone. She went down to the creek to get a little drink, and her chubby butt fell in. That's about four feet, four and a half foot deep. And it's very brisk moving. You got washed down about a hundred yards. I had no idea she was gone. After about five, ten minutes, I realized she wouldn't come when I called her, which is unlike her. And he was on timeout for being gone for five hours, so I let him out of timeout to help me find little Miss Pris over here. And he went about a hundred yards downstream. Nice. It's a good burp, dude. So he went about a hundred yards downstream. And he was kind of running around in the bushes acting like he was playing and then a little bitty eddy a little bitty soft area right behind a boulder miss penny lou is just dog paddling for her life because she didn't have long to go she had her head above water but that's about it when i grabbed onto her i dove in and when i grabbed onto her i didn't dove in i jumped in when i jumped in um as soon as i grabbed a hold of her she went limp <laughs> she was like thank god 
So I had to fuck carry her ass out of the water. I actually pitched her up on the beach and then I had to pull myself up because it was a four foot drop off there at the beach. Thanks for finding her, dude. You're gonna disappear every time we go camping like this? You were gone for a long time. Don't have much of an appetite. You been eating on something out there? Or is it just too damn hot for your husky ass? We don't have any kind of uh, connection here, so I have no idea what the temp is. But it feels like it's uh, mid to upper 80s. So we're going to hang out here for a while. I think I, uh, I have a lead on the way out. If it doesn't work, then we're just going to hike our happy asses out. Uh, thanks for watching.